Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a hair video from Peerless Hair guys. Their hair is amazing, one of the best 613 hairs that I've ever had. I'm gonna have all the information on the bundles and the frontal down below, like the lengths and stuff like that. But um, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve like that icy blonde color. So first off, I start with an intense conditioner from Touch of Silver. Um, touch of silver from provoke <laughs> and then um, I use like a bowl and then I put some hot water from the kettle and then I add that conditioner in there so I sort of co-wash the hair before I dye it or do anything like that just to lift whatever it can with the purple I was about to say purple shampoo but purple conditioner so I just mix that in using a wooden stick and then I literally remove all the labels from the bundle. I put the bundles in that conditioner, I rinse them out, I massage it a bit just to soften the hair as much as I can as well and then I just leave that to soak for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Let's just say that half an hour and 45 minutes has gone by and I have rinsed out the hair, I've left it to dry and it's ready to dye so first guys i'm gonna grab my l'oreal excellence pure blonde hair dye this one is really good it's an advanced ultra lightning cream you guys are gonna see how yeah this is what i want to show you guys the color chart how it turns like light brown and blonde to like this super icy blonde and i wanted to achieve that first picture so if you are bad at all this hair stuff like me don't worry everything is numbered one to three so you know exactly what to do and where to pour what into <laughs> so um that's me doing a little diy cutting that open so that i can pour into the bottle once i have poured that in i'm just gonna seal it with the top and then i'm gonna shake it and then it's ready to go it comes with a comb applicator but I prefer honestly guys just spraying it all over the hair and then using my hands to kind of like rub it into the hair and then a brush to brush it through that's just how I prefer doing things with the applicator the comb part of it is so small um, I don't it wasn't doing a very good job at all it wasn't detangling the hair if it got tangled and that was not good so I prefer just using my own detangling brush and you know my hands or whatever So I pretty much repeated that process five times because I had four bundles and the frontal to do. So I'm doing the same thing for my frontal. I've already done the bundles at this point and the bundles are just sitting aside, dying in the dye. And um, yeah, we're just gonna do the same with the frontal. With, by the time I got to the frontal, I had quite, I had a lot of the product left behind actually. So a lot of it went into the frontal and that's what I wanted because I would hate if all the bundles got all the dye. And then the frontal was kind of left with nothing. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but the frontal did start lifting pretty quickly. It was starting to get like really icy. So yeah. So this was the hair after I'd left it for about 10 minutes, I think. I didn't even leave it in there for long and it had already started lifting. I loved the color. It was becoming like this whitey color. Um, my lighting wasn't the best so you couldn't really see it but you guys will see it once it's dried and it's gorgeous. I loved it. So now I'm just washing that all out to make sure that the dye comes out properly and um, yeah when you guys see it once it's dried comment down below and let me know your thoughts. So guys this is the hair yeah definitely gotten a lot whiter <laughs> and this is what i'm gonna show you guys how i installed it so basically i got i got a stylist to make the wig for me because making wigs is not my forte especially frontal wigs so before i like glue it down with got to be i just put it on my head to make sure that the placement was okay i put the got to be i sprayed it twice until it got extra tacky and then once that was ready to go i just placed the lace on the part where i applied the got to be the thing is with frontals i would never advise sticking it down all at once because it will dry really quickly so i just start with the center and then i do the sides after just because the sides take a, li a little bit longer because they always tend to lift first i'm just doing that with a tail cone so it's not that hard um that's me now doing the sides and then sticking it down 
with the help of that telco whilst i'm doing that i just want to talk to you guys about the hair guys the hair itself is actually amazing um it's super silky i just wish at this part i had mousse because if i had hair mousse it would have been easier to keep the stray hairs away but i didn't so i just had to stick it down like that the quality of the hair is phenomenal i just wish that the lace was swiss lace this hair this lace i believe is french lace as it's a little bit thicker if it was swiss lace the melt would have been so much better this is obviously me with makeup there's no way i wasn't going to show you guys how this hair looks with my makeup it looks amazing with the stray hairs and flyaways i would either use like a lightweight serum or a light holding spray just to keep them intact or wax if it was at the top of the hair i would just use a wax to wax it down but other than that guys the hair is really nice i'm gonna leave everything down in the description box down below comment down below if you've tried peerless and i can't wait to see you guys again bye